What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Rob's Arcade. I'm your host, Rob French. And hang tight. Don't go anywhere. We've got a very hair-raising episode of Rob's Arcade. This should prove to be a very cool clip. So don't go anywhere. Hang tight. I'm going to be right back. Let's get my buckle on. Get played and the games get saved so they can be played on another day. Rob's Arcade. All right. Oh, thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for tuning in, tubing in. I said I'm your host, Rob French. This is Rob's Arcade. And typically when you're driving with me, it's uh, we're going to the, to, uh, the comic shop. Um, but that's not the case today. Today we're doing something really cool. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited about this. I'm cruising to the barber shop to get my hair kind of just cleaned up, nothing crazy. I don't, I don't need like a big cut. I just need a little, a little cleanup, you know. And it's interesting because I haven't been to like a barber shop or a hair cuttery or a salon or whatever you want to call it in ages. And I, I definitely mean ages. We're talking decades, twenty years. When I was in high school, uh, about like 18 years old, 17, 18, I feel like all the guys went to the same uh, barber shop. Uh, you know, we, we all went to like the same three barbers, you know, whether it's prom or just, you know, time to get your weekend cut. You'd always find the same guy, Smitty's Barber Shop. So just off of, I believe, Walmsley Boulevard. Uh, here in Richmond, Virginia, and uh, Smitty owned it. He was a, a really, I mean, he was ancient. He was old when I was a kid, and I remember, like, you know, still like seeing him. And like I said, in my, in my 20s, basically, and uh, it's like, God, he's still old. It's like, <laughs> I just always remember Smitty being an old man. Uh, but yeah, we all we all went to Smitty's. Uh, a gentleman named Frank used to cut my hair, and the interesting thing about Frank was. He cut my hair when I was a little boy, and I, you know, just got to talking with him one day, and um, he knew my father, and, uh, you know, he's like, Steve Armstrong? And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of times, people would like, you know, if they're like, what's your name? Like, you know, Robert Armstrong, blah, blah, blah. What's your last, or what's your last name? Armstrong. Armstrong? You don't know Steve Armstrong, do you? All the time. All the time. So anyway, uh, we got to talking, and come to find out, yeah, you know, uh, Smitty and Frank knew my father, and the same guy who cut my hair when I was a kid wound up cutting my hair when I was like 18, 19, like all, all through like my senior year. As soon as I started driving, you know, I guess, well, not as soon as I started driving, I guess, but yeah, like, you know, junior, senior year in high school, this guy was cutting my hair. Uh, and once, once he retired, once he left, I just, uh, I was like, you know, I don't know um, that I trust anybody else to cut my hair. And I went to like a couple like hair cutteries and it just didn't quite work out. And I I had a friend of mine, his name was uh, Matt, Matt Harris. And uh, I lost, lost my friend uh, Matt Harris back when I was in high school, uh, just after we'd graduated. And um, I guess we weren't in high school, but uh, shortly after after we graduated, and um, he had a great a great saying. It was like a job's not worth doing if you can't do it yourself. I always love that. Like you know, if you can't do it yourself, it's just not worth doing, man. And so I took that philosophy into cutting my own hair for like the longest time. I was like, I would just cut my own hair, and uh, you know. 
real simple stuff, nothing too crazy. But I think I want to go, it's like, you know, the holiday season, doopy doop, and a boppity bop. So why not go and uh, get my hair trimmed up a little bit professionally? It's been the it'll be the first time since I was in my 20s probably. So we're looking at like 20 plus years since somebody's cut my hair. So anyway, just found this barber shop. It just says barber shop. Let's go see, see what they see what they can do. All right, everybody. So yeah, I hit this little place. It's just called a uh, barber shop. Ahmed, I believe is his name. Uh, very, very polite. Um, young gentleman. I don't, I'm not really sure where he's from. So I'm guessing somewhere over in the, in the Middle East somewhere. Um, but very quiet, very nice gentleman. And he's got a very clean, very cool little shop. You know, nothing extravagant, no bells and whistles. I don't trust any of these places that say like super cuts, great clips, great this, great that. Like, eh, I just don't trust any of that stuff. Give me just your ordinary run of the mill barber shop. Um, very satisfied, very decent price, $25. Can't really beat it. There was only one guy ahead of me. Uh, so it wasn't like a big long wait. That was one of the things back in the day, at, you know, Smitty's, man. It was always a long wait. Uh, but just had one guy in front of me. I actually got to see, like, how he, how he, you know, cut hair before I hopped in the chair. And, uh, very, very satisfied. So let's go ahead, get the drum roll, and take a look at my first professional cut in 20 years. Very happy. I just wanted him to kind of clean up the sides and the back, and he... Gave me nice little clean lines and everything. So uh, I don't even have to shave. I was going to do, he did all, he trimmed all this up before uh, before he finished up and got my neckline all nice and tight. So I'll definitely, I'll definitely be back to Ahmed's Barbershop over here. Um, it's uh, Gaskin's Place, just off of like Patterson and Gaskin. So um, just cruising by here the other day and I happened to see it and I figured, yeah, you know what? I'm going to check this place out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little spot. So I don't know if you're in this, you know, in, in the market for a new barber, this might be a, a spot to check out. Anyway, I hope you liked this little video. Let me know what you think below. Let me know what you think of the cut. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, don't spend that quarter anywhere else. Later, guys. Bye.